Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Frozen Frontier. You guys are back. You've made it. It's okay. We did it. We survived. Is Yaramir going to survive? I mean, I, I think Yaramir will survive. Let's talk first before we get into any other details. How long does it take for you guys to heal up to full? Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I think Ferris, like, as soon as she goes in there, or as soon as, like, Elizabeth drags Yarmir off to the, the medical bay, whatever it is, uh, Ferris is probably going to go in after and just, like, take off all his clothes and say, whenever you're done over there, I've got, I think this one's starting to get infected. Uh, this one still hurts like a bitch. And he's, like, pointing to all these different wounds from the battles, like, multiple arrow holes. And he just kind of, like, waits in the infirmary to get a little bit of healing aid. Sure. And he probably just waits in the infirmary. I'm probably just going to stay in the infirmary for a couple of weeks. That yeah, sounds about right for everybody. So let's, uh, I mean, I think I've got the most HP, HP to heal. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be the limiting factor. Yeah, so... I will too once I, once I level. So how many do I get a day? Two or three? You get two a day. You can get three a day under the care of a proficient healer and herbalist. I'm just checking up the details of our healer. Is it possible it... that uh, once I get back on my feet, we could tag team heal? And get the three a day with like two proficient healers? Uh, no, because it's not a number of medics around. It's like the quality of the available medicine. So I think for a full week, you get, you get your con, con bonus. bonus. Ooh, yes. nice. Um, you get that extra one HP. So it's going to be it two con bonus gonna be per day or just con bonus total? It might just be total per week. It might we be per take week. A look here. Yeah. Yeah. I, I am curious about that. Um, so. Let's find out, where's the... So let's see how quickly we all heal. Um, healing here. Only characters, da, 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 character can do this, those who do this, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Only characters. Hmm. Uh, a medic can heal up to six patients at a time, or can care hmm. for up to six patients at a time. Yeah, so so yeah, so, yeah. So we don't need Yaromir to to increase the healing. She probably keeps him sedated, so he won't stop trying to like backseat medic. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely backseat medic too. Absolutely. <laughs> This is not proper suture. <laughs> you do cross stitch, I do linear stitch. Yes. <laughs> what he even thought you cross stitch is very strange. If a character has complete bed rest, doing nothing for an entire day and under the care of a healer, we're assuming, he can regain three hit points per day. For each complete week of bed rest, the character can add a con bonus to any to the 21 point. Okay. So if you are literally just staying in bed and not walking around and doing nothing and it's absolutely mind-numbingly boring, yeah, you can I, recover uh, three a day. Oh yeah. But I don't think Fair. anyone would do that for more than a couple of days because and if you come slightly... back from water from war, I'll like battle. I mean, like I'm just gonna lay down in bed and probably life. like carve out some poetry. Yeah, like I'm fine yeah. with doing that. But like a few mm -hmm. days, I think after like five days of doing that, someone would probably. Insane. Would we Maybe not get not, our con know. bonus for the weekend? I mean, uh, I'm happy to just say it's. But when you're at one HP, I mean, he's yeah. more or less in sure. a coma for. I mean, sure. like, so, like, so right, like, like, week. like nobody wants to be hospitalized for three weeks, but that's if you're true. heavily injured, that's you're probably going to be hospitalized for three weeks. I, I rescind yeah. all my previous statements. So you can I mean, do 21 <laughs> points I mean, a week plus your con bonus. Um, yeah. How long will that take? Uh, I am going to level this session. Are we just going to add that after I heal, or should we add it before I heal? We'll deal leveling after healing. Okay, so that's going to be. Nine days. About Nine days. Yeah. So I'd get twenty-two HP in the first seven, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then three HP every day. I only, day after I only need so fifteen. So twenty-eight HP would be nine days. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So right. I'm just gonna mark off nine days and assume you all get nine days. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, we'll, we'll do nine days. Grimes. Oh, Grimes does not spend any time at the infirmary. Actually, he's probably continuing to. Yeah, I heal way he's, before. He's her. still climb. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Same. I, I'm eight HP down or something like that. Yeah. So I, <laughs> I get, I get treatment so that I can hit on the, the, the medic. Hmm. 
Um, and then I probably just run <laughs> run around, continue climb, continue climbing trees and tearing stitches open again. And... Uh, I think Ferris doesn't do much yeah. during those nine days, except like is it you know, worth? One day he weakly asks the medic, like, "Can you bring me a requisition form for arrows?" <laughs> <laughs> it's it, it's it's a dumb idea for Grimes to try and like recover any of our stashed loot during this week. Do we agree on that? Like sending me out after polar bear hides is, is oh, a yeah. thing to do. <laughs> yeah, it seems not smart. Okay. I mean, well, you could. Fair, it does seem relatively easy to avoid encounters. Yeah. Yeah. Especially and there's not probably, it's probably encounters. easier when you have four people, though, than when you. I mean, like, it's easier to avoid them with just one, but it's probably easier to survive them with four, so. Oh, yeah. Um, so I would not. Let's, let's check in right. partway through that week. Uh, when everyone's awake and up and able to move. How, how do you guys tell Yaromir about what happens? Because he last thing he saw was a magic <laughs> missile out of his chest at Bokasa, and then an axe, and then <laughs> and now he's awake in this infirmary. Hmm. So I think um, if I wake up, do I, I, I'm at a decent amount of HP before Yaromir comes yeah. out of his coma. In fact, let's let's mix this telling Yaromir and telling uh, Captain Geneva Hughes and the, the story that you tell to the fort and all the people stationed here cool. who are short on stories. Um, I, so I think William went down first, right? So I don't know what Ferris is. I think Grimes will tell the fort that William defeated Bokasa, lead, leader of the Knolls in single combat. Thanks, Grimes. I've said, and I'll go. Th- and I'll go through the epic tale, and then like, the, you know, we get to, it gets to the end, and uh, it's clear that William is going to defeat Bokasa, and all hell broke loose, and someone fired the first shot. We're not sure if it was the Knolls. We're not sure if it was our side, but things evolved quickly, and we wound up blowing them all up. But sure, cocktails. Mean, yeah. <laughs> so if that story gets spread, so that's the, that's probably the story that gets spread in the first day, unless Ferris maybe... intervenes. Maybe the medic brings up the story to me while mm-hmm. I'm like being treated. I think William feels great shame at that version of the events. But and, it's uh, too late. It's already been. It's already been a day of people like telling you know. Yeah. Talking about it. About how and and William's all laid up with his like with his clothes removed, mus- muscles bulging. <laughs> They're like, wow. <laughs> what he about? Really us? took down the Noel chieftain, and it's like, yeah, look, we've got his axe. <clears throat> at least one of their axes. So I think I'm quite quiet about it all, and uh, I'm waiting yeah, for Yaramir wanna... to wake up. I mean, yeah, I, I think when Yaramir wakes up, it takes two days for me to like be not negative anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Right. Like, yeah. it, it, I I get back on my feet really fast, and then it's just a matter of getting back up to 10 HP, which isn't very. No, it doesn't take two. Days. It takes you. You're at negative HP per six, day. right? Or negative five. Yeah. Oh, so okay. it takes me two days to get to zero. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think when when Yaramir wakes up. Uh, like he gets the story recounted to him and says, you know, something along the lines of like, or Ferris says to him something along the lines of, uh, you saved our fearless leader here. Not that you'll be getting any credit for it. <laughs> I was worried. Uh, we could not lose a man of his quality. Shouldn't have done that, Yaramir. If I did not, you would be dead. And that's the way the gods would have it. Instead, you There's no died. such thing as gods. Watch your, I have been watch born. Say, Boris. Those gnolls didn't think so. They, they called down the wrath of Velthara on a, a lot of you. Oathbreakers. How can you if stand you, in a place like this and say there's no gods around you? <laughs> Fairy tales for children. No I am saying they have no love for their children. Fairy tale or not. I spent my whole I, life in service of gods. I left, and it was the greatest thing I have ever done. The gods have no love for you. You must make own path. Agreed. Learn Should the gods way. even exist, they're evil beyond any doubt. I spent my whole life pursuing honor, and I feel great shame at what happened. If you kept pursuing honor, you would be dead. It's much better to be alive and feel little shame in heart than to be dead and forgotten in tomb. Tell me, Yar- Yaramir, is it possible for for an elf to have two curses laid upon him? Or is Ferris all, all full up? <laughs> there are many ways to curse someone. It is very possible to have more than one. I invite them all. Can't get any worse. And he just goes back to, to carving his poetry. 
Many people thought I was cursed. I find it to be more blessing than curse. Sometimes a curse is not what you think it is. Um, Neil, can we borrow supplies from the storeroom? I'm thinking like needle and thread stuff for preparing, repairing clo my clothes and my cloak that had been... If you fill out the proper requisition forms. All right, can I fill out a requisition form for uh, needle and thread and uh, like to borrow a needle and thread or, or whatever? Yeah, let me see if they have what they have. Oh, while well, you're at that, could you requisition me some more arrows? <laughs> Uh, no, nope, sorry, that's not protocol. Ever, you can't, it's, you're not allowed to requisition for uh, someone else. Right? God, could you bring me the damned form then? <laughs> actually, good. actually, Grimes is illiterate. He would, he will have to, he's probably, <laughs> I think the deal he strikes with uh, Ferris, confiding in Ferris that he actually doesn't know his letters, is that Fer if Ferris will write the requisition form, I'll go ahead and turn it in. So Grimes, Grimes will bring a requisition form for the needle and thread and <laughs> to Corporal Alicia. To Corporal yeah. Alicia, yeah. yeah. So Ferris right, so will fill it out. So it's written in this like flowing Elven <laughs> script by this. I think I think maybe there's a there's it be believable that Grimes would. Uh, yeah. So Ferris will uh, fill it out for seven arrowheads and seven like um, arrow tail like the feathers for seven arrows. Mm -hmm. uh, so the heads and tails for seven arrows and then uh, needle and thread was what you wanted. Yeah, I, whatever supplies I would need to repair, like my my clothing. Okay, yeah, I'll I'll fill somewhat, that out. Somewhat shredded to make Molotov cocktails. I'll fill that out for Grimes to turn in. Okay. Is it approved, or do I need to smooth talk? Uh... Well, Corporal Alicia I mean, takes a look yeah. at you filling out these forms, and everyone's heard about the big glittering piece of metal that you brought back. <laughs> It's the, I mean, it probably skits. is in the storeroom for now, right? Where else would we put it? I was I mean, assuming you left it in bed. your bedroom. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so she crosses her arms and looks at this, this requisition form for needle and thread. <laughs> kind of taps her foot a little bit and goes, you're going to talk to me about that sheet of metal you brought in? Awfully pretty, wasn't, wasn't it? I'll lean into the doorway. I like look out wistfully I, I, into the, I don't know into the into the snow mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. i wonder if it'd be i wonder if its value would be at all decreased if we chipped off coins grimes will wonder out loud and hopefully the dm will actually tell him i know i failed my appraisal check but she she shakes worth, her head slowly and goes oh my is it God. worth more as a as a piece of art or is or sh is it like same value whether we're using it whole or she shakes her head and goes i'm sure it would be fine regardless of how you did it. I don't think anyone would collect that for its artistic value. <laughs> but I'm sure they right. would melt it down for its weight of copper, silver, and gold. <clears throat> I think I saw a few platinum in there. Well then. You said it, it's a pound per 50 coins, right, Neil? Yes. So, so if it is 262 these, pounds, how many 13, coins? There's 13,000 coins in there at least. Holy shit. Now, that a lot is... of those could be copper, so it might not be like a huge amount, but there's 13,000 coins in there. So but, I think I submit my requisition form as is, but maybe imply that there is money in it down the line. Like, I don't, yeah, I don't sure. know. Yeah. Sure, sure, like sure. I'm, you... I'm guessing before the next boat shipment, we're going to work out how to... She'll give you the needle that. and thread that you need. How many arrows and things did seven you Seven arrowheads and seven, like, tails. I can make the shafts myself. That's not a problem. Like, and I, I can always just like go get some wood and make it, the shafts. Who's the requisition officer? Actually, I've got that Corporal sheet. Alicia. Corporal Alicia. Oh, okay, yeah. so I'll, yeah, I'll ask the to. corporal how the resupplies go. Just uh, as is a matter it, of is it a like bodkin how... or broadhead arrowheads that you're looking for? Don. Uh, broadhead. The broadheads do more, or sorry, right. bodkins do more damage? Bodkins are longer range, less damage. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, broadheads. And you wanted how many again? I'm sorry. Uh, arrowheads. Seven of, or no, sorry, 13 of the heads and tails. Okay, and I think there's unlimited feathers, yeah. All right, so they give you the, the things you need. Okay. Cool. And I would also, I'd like to ask a Corporal Alicia how the resupplies generally work, like how we would go about sending valuables back, how, you know, ordering new things, like, do, would it be that same ship captain that we met on the way in? She nods and says, yes. Because uh, the ship, it comes about once a month, give or take. Uh, depending on weather conditions and all that. And uh, you can place any orders you want with them, and they will bring you the supplies that you need. Also, any wealth that you find, as I'm sure Captain Marshall has told you, Kel William has told you, yep. 
uh, are to be returned to the crown, and a quarter of their value will be allotted to you for continual funding of your expedition. The rest goes to paying back investors and the crown's share of the profit. My father-in-law. Yeah, we'll see about that. (laughs) Yeah, so uh, just some quick math. It's at bare minimum 130 gold for that sheet. That's if every single piece was copper. But we know that like a good chunk of it is silver and gold and maybe even some platinum. Mm -hmm. So we're potentially looking at uh, over a thousand. You know, you're looking at this thing it looks like in or like the in order of quantity of coins it goes silver gold copper platinum damn nice uh you know on the bone nail is there any chance that i'd get a letter from my family yes if they've nice. written to you i'd hope they would okay but i will write point, a letter to them sure uh at some point maybe the third day back Captain Geneva Hughes comes and kind of asks everybody to clear out of the room so she can speak with Kel William. You guys don't, it won't interfere with your rest. Um, she sits down kind of at the foot of the bed where you're resting and looks at you gravely and says, so what, what did you find out there? Where did you find these skins and this, these coins? The nulls were held up in an, an old tomb built into the side of the mountains. The um, there's a sarcophagus there with some some human engraved on the on the front. I assume it was his tomb, but I, I'm not sure who it was. These coins, if you look closely at them, you can see that there are human coins of old Caldonian kingdoms. I assume the tomb belonged to belonged to some some empire. The the Knolls told us of a great wall further south than the cave we were in. They said that they, um, and I'll, I'll show us Sanko's axe mm-hmm. and say they, they say they got these weapons from there. So I, I think that's our next location that we'll head to. She looks disappointed by the axe. It's, it's an old battered piece of shit weapon. Yeah. Um, but it means made of steel. <laughs> yeah. Dance, woman. But it's you like know. old and like Can you mean steel mine. <laughs> Neil, can you explain steel val- steel's value in this world? Like, you, I saw yes. you put up some metal calculator, and it didn't make any sense to me. Like, it looked like steel was worth like two gold. A steel coin is two gold. Like, I tried to cal- like I tried to plug in how would I calculate the cost of a steel dagger, and it looks uh, like okay. So, um, uh, steel seemed... is worth half a gold. Uh, it's worth. Oh, sorry. My yeah, bad. it's worth five silver for one steel okay. coin. Um, there is so a, a steel converter. weapon is worth. Hundreds of gold is that, or a steel weapon is significantly more expensive than a non-steel weapon. So if you plug into this cow, this thing which I've linked in Frofro chat, and I'm going to link in Twitch chat right now, this is the converter. So if you are making a dagger, it weighs one, and its normal price is one GP. I think it's two, but sure. Sure. So it's one and two. So weight is one, value is two. You hit convert, and then you can go across. 40 gold to make, to make a steel make dagger. A steel dagger. Yeah. So, so we, we were, started with all steel gear, didn't we? Or not? I think those, some of you started with steel gear. Everyone else has brass or bronze gear. Okay, so okay, so my knives are made of brass? Bronze. Yeah, brass, bronze. bronze yeah. But my and, arm is steel. Okay. Yeah. So I'll say, I'll say to okay. Captain Hughes that um, this axe isn't the, isn't the prize that I'm talking about. These gnolls obviously don't know what's in there, but if the is a remnant of the ancient kingdoms, then the wealth, the magic that we're looking for could be deep within. He nods. We don't know so. the full size of Caldonia. People did once upon a time, but I've never seen a full map of it. I'm hoping one day that we can chart out the whole island. I know there are people who would do it, but it's expensive. And dangerous. Who knows what's down that's not well, that that's why stuff. it's expensive. Hmm. Do you know where the wall has... is? Have you seen it? No, I'm not sure. No, I think they said it was a few days further south from the cave. And um it, do we have some sort of map or not? She shakes her head. None no. whatsoever, unless you can make one. So I say, you know, maybe it's like fifty miles south of here. Sixty miles, something like that. They oh. call it a great a great wall. Uh, first, we thought it was just more mountains, but 
for that, I don't know. Maybe there's more to it than that. It, it sounds like it maybe some sort of structure. Well, that's what you're here for. Is there anyone in the fort that's um, well read on the history of this place? I would be the most well read. Do you know any of the any of the old kings? Do you, could, do you think you could recognize anyone on this on these coins? I'll take a look, she says, as she pours over it. She shakes her head. No, they're too battered. And imagery of old kings of Caldonia are... I've never seen anything. The the hideout where the, where the Null uh, Lord was, was living, uh, Yaramir sort of felt that there was a great power of death coming from within there. I mean, it's a tomb, sure, but it, it looked to me like there was only one one person of significance buried there. Do you think it's likely that there's more to the place? Uh, would, would they build something like that for one person? We wouldn't, back home. You're asking the right questions. I don't have the answers. I think we didn't have time. Uh, Yaramir was dying. We had to make a hasty exit the next morning, but I think we should head back there. There's more, there's more furs, and I've got a feeling that there might be. There's one thing. You don't build a tomb too far away from civilization. That's true as well. There might be what? towns, villages. I don't, it's been a long time. I don't know if they would still be standing. It's true. We didn't come across anything, but I, maybe it's rubble Place in the dirt. is cursed by the gods. They might all be gone. There might be no sign of the last civilization here. Those gnolls had apparently been living around that area for th over a thousand years. At least that's what I think uh, the one that we were traveling with said. She seems satisfied with this conversation and takes off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'll, uh, I'll start writing a letter then to my, to my family. Sure. Uh, what other things do you guys want to take care of? Let's start with Greg, because you have had the most time sitting silently while you ponder your <laughs> potential death. Uh, well, I mean, being dead is, is a tough, it's a tough role playing ass. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have many things I want to do. How many things can I do? Um, I don't know. Let's just go through them. What do you got? All right. Uh, first thing I want to do is um, examine the metal plate of coins. Hmm. Um, it's the only thing that came out of the tomb that I had a chance to examine, really. Um, and so I, I don't know the history of this place very specifically, but I do specialize in obscure ancient texts and, and things. And I have a, I have a proficiency in folklore and a, a very good interest in it. Does any of the images or faded words or anything on here, um, perhaps, uh, relate to anything I've learned in, in the courses of my, my studies and, and Do you have some sort of ancient history proficiency? I don't have ancient history. I'm kind of relying on, um, word of mouth, right? Stories. Okay. Let's, let's take a look. You, you do have like symbology though. That's like your specialty, right? You should be able to Right. My, my specialty is, is symbology, archaeology, and folklore, right? right? I don't study history. I very specifically did not take ancient history because I don't sit and study books, right? I would be much more likely to know the history of, like, uh, Transylvania via, like, a bunch of, um, like, folklore about the, the place, yeah. right? And I would probably know all the stories about Dracula and how they relate to the actual ancient figures, right, that they were based on and yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Right. That's how I would know ancient history. Yeah, but you're a geometer, right? Yes, I'm a geometer. So, yeah, I mean, Neil described some of the coins as having like a geometric, but not geometric. Like lines. Net, like, with old kings lines. Yeah, yeah, I feel like these things should mean more to you. Yes. Yeah. So these are definitely uh, you can see, you can confirm what the other people have already theorized that the, these bold lines are symbols of strength and power that one would emblazon upon their money to kind of show off their might. Um, the platinum coins that have those really delicate patterns look like they're crafted by a completely separate philosophy. Um, they might've been crafted by the same hand, but the, the thought that went into them is completely different and somewhat foreign to you. It's delicate, un unusually delicate. 
have a delicate symbology similar but different um so that's that's very interesting uh the 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 power lines on here do they have any um do they have any arcane um uh like lineage like obviously you say they're about showing off right but does this come because oh we know these are symbols of power um and so we're going to put them on our money even though they might not be useful yeah. to us there are a few coins that still have really good detail mostly on the back of the sheet uh, mm -hmm. And they, ha you can see very clearly that there are no arcane symbols on them whatsoever. All the things are like geometrical shapes that you would find in fortresses, or you know, as a, a display of like maybe an army pattern is like a, a square with an X through it on a. So they look of more like heraldry than anything yes. else. Yes. Okay. Um, so the the delicate symbology um, does that remind me of um, Ferris's? uh markings right when he writes poetry when he has the tattoo of himself does it does it look like anything that might have come from a similar hand is it elven script i uh, hard to tell um it could be it could not be i'm gonna leave that as in just inconclusive for you okay all right yeah. fair enough um I'm wondering if I can squeeze out more information from this via other things. Um, okay, I, I'll, I I spend you know an amount of time studying this and, and going over it while I'm healing for you know a few hours one day. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe maybe I spend four or five hours in, in meditation thinking about it, and that's kind of the information I I glean from it, I guess. Sure. Um, uh, all right. So all right. if while you think about what else you want to ask. I'm gonna flip over to Grimes for a moment. Um, in the bad light and quickly looked at in, in the tomb, you couldn't really piece together the value of this large piece of metal. But given a week to sit and kind of count out how many coins you think are on this, you could probably get a pretty good estimate of its value. Um, if you would like to spend a large portion of your downtime sitting and counting coins on this big sheet of metal. I, 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 enough to do. I don't have any downtime plans. I think Grimes, yeah, okay. he can see. So he explores the local woods. I think he chops a lot of wood, climbs in and out of the fort. Sure. So I'm just going to give you its yeah, exact he, GP value since you've got probably all need, the time you need. I'm, yeah, I'm guessing I probably need to discuss with Yarmir. So I'm there while he's investigating at one point, and I need to like ask him to like help me calculate how many of the different co different types of coins there are, and between my appraising and him being able to get me some kind of quantitative estimate of you know. So it's probably Yarmir that figures out it's mostly silver, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so what, so do we, what do we come up with? As a, should I re-roll my appraisal? Or? No, no, I'm just going to give it to you because you've got plenty of time to appraise it, and they're actual like beaten coins. Yeah, so they're, they're coins. Count so we them. just count them. Right. Yeah. There are 800 platinum coins, 3,500 gold coins, 6,400 silver, and 2,400 copper, giving you so a you total 800 platinum, 3,500 gold, 6,400 silver, 2,400 copper, giving you a total value in copper, of course, because copper is the default currency, so that's what we speak in, of five... Uh, hold on. Can, I can add zeros of 576,400 copper coins. For those of you that like to think in GP, that's 5,764 GP. And that will be cut in half in a quarter? quarter. You get a quarter of that to spend. Um, and your polar bear pelt, you can, uh, what's your name? Alicia, Corporal mm -hmm. Alicia will Tell you if she, you guys haven't she, already taken that, I kind of want to give it to her. I think it's, yeah, I think it probably, like, I don't think we did anything with it. I think it wound up, you know, we we, we probably ignored it and it probably wound up in the uh, the gear room, whatever that thing was called. Yeah. Uh, she says so. she can probably get about 100 GP for that pelt. So that brings mm -hmm. your total haul to uh, 5864. Well, we still need to go fetch those other polar bear hides, but I think our plan will be to turn those into a tent. Right, but that does give you 1,466 gold to spend on Our plan resupply. cannot be to turn those into a tent. If we spend a month waiting for someone to come via ship, and then he gets here in a month, 
and then we give him a bunch of polar bear tents and then he takes a month to sew them up into a perfect tent for us that is a useless idea we send them back and then we order a tent in a month it arrives right like that is by far the best use of it you can't order a hide tent we need yes, to and there are hides in the other in the other land. It might not be polar bears, but they can get big, thick grizzly bear hides and do the same shit. You can or you can have custom made for you a tent made out of furs. It'll be expensive, but you can do it. Okay. I vote Yaramir as the uh, the group accountant. <laughs> okay. Well, if that's the case, then, well, then you don't trust me. Um. What was it? Fifty six thousand. Thirty six. I don't remember. Uh, it was fourteen sixty six in gold. For, yes. That we have to spend. fourteen sixty six gold. I to will. Spend. I will keep track of that. So we actually okay. have a good amount. Like we got over a thousand. Yes, you have recovered quite the treasure haul. In it's been about a month since you've arrived. I think. Yeah, it's been over a month. Today is well. At the end of your resting is going to be the twenty second, and you arrived on the eighteenth of last month. Right. Um, so, by the way, Neil, I'm curious. Like, I know that the money that we keep is uh, for, like, continued funding the expedition. Are we paid, like, a salary for being here, then? No. You guys have all volunteered for this. You're all so here we're working for free. one way or another. Yeah. I mean, you're sort of working for free. Uh, it's one of those things where the contacts you make here and the things that you do here will give you... Maybe like, that hasn't launched. Are, are, are you saying you that, we're, that we're being paid an exposure? Uh, I wouldn't call it exposure. No. Yeah. I may, I, we probably haven't talked about this amongst each other, right? It's probably like you don't talk about. I, yeah. I, Grimes probably assumes that everyone else is getting paid. I mean, <laughs> we role played time. how you and all so got pretends. involved in this yeah. project, and sure. none yeah. of you agreed to any transaction. Okay. So. That blows my. That blows Grimes' mind. He can't imagine. Barring his certain, like, if you, I can't, I can't see how why Ferris wouldn't have tried to negotiate a salary. <laughs> yeah, no one tried to negotiate any salary, so you're all here free of charge. Mm-hmm. Um, which the state I'm Nick, sure you're loves. Muted. <laughs> so, um, how close are we to ending this session? Like, I think really close. If you need to be, I still, I like. There's when, when how if we end? Okay, I I want to do a lot of things in the in the actual. I don't actually. I don't know how long they'll all take, but there's like, I want to role play with all of the people in the in the fort, right? Like Yaromir's one of the things that Yaromir really wanted to do before we left on the on the null fighting expedition was he wanted to get in good with um corporal alicia he kind of hit on her awkwardly um, but he was also really more worried about like bridging that relationship right and so i all of the stuff that i've spent meticulous time like collecting has been lost or or left in the in the thing right so i want to come like crawl to her with my eight stone spearheads that i managed to keep right and like talk to her about the furs and 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 like i'm i'm I, like trying to get in good with her right i want to talk with the with omni right uh i i want to i want to keep working on that relationship I want to um, spend some time tra- uh, building out like um, a place to keep fireflies and grasshoppers that can live and maybe recruit her to doing some of that for me while I might be gone. Sure. Uh, I, um, well, I then let's, let's uh, take a look and see how long we have to play because we're running up on our scheduled amount of time. And I know yeah. it must be like midnight UK time. Yeah, yeah. I've got work tomorrow. I really can't yeah, spend yeah. No, I, I think mean, we could up. we could always start can... that at the next session. Cause, like yeah, this so session think... was pretty combat heavy and pretty intense, so we could yeah. always have next session be a little more roleplay heavy. Yeah. So I think we'll start next session with some roleplay in the fort. Is there any like actual logistical stuff you need to set in motion? Like I think this there's a week of total re- bed rest and recovery. Yeah. yeah. For most um, of the party, right? I mean, for I guess it, it really only takes about three. If if we we'll say we'll take three days of bed rest for Yaromir, and then he. He will okay. will get healing and attention, but for the rest of the day, he's oh, got things he wants to do. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, most of it's just very role play heavy. Uh, the only like role I would want to make, I, I do want to make an omen reading on the um, on the golden silver coin thing. Give me an omen reading check. And what is um, it? You roll that in secret. Oh, of course, thank um, you. Thank and you. the the question that I want to make to it is. Um, um, will there be 
um, I don't want to say a curse, but like, will there be negative consequences to taking this from the tomb? Does it? I, I want to do two different omen readings. I want to do one: Does this hold any arcane power? Two, and, and I might use arcanology for that if mm -hmm. I need to. I can sure, like sure. draw out that symbol and do the the ritual. And then two, like, will there be negative consequences for taking this from there, from the tomb? Um. So your arcanology check comes back uh, indifferent, uh, not indifferent, uh, in inconclusive. Okay. Uh, your your check on the will this bring will any harm befall us or any danger befall us before taking this uh comes back as sort of like the damage is already done mm -hmm. okay uh, and you can take that to mean you know you guys have already inflicted that damage upon yourself or maybe it was done to the first people like whatever is going to happen because of these being stolen has already come to pass mm -hmm. okay okay um, mechanically, those are like the only roles I, I know that I want to make right now. So, okay. so um, I think we'll probably start off next session with a bunch of cool. RP and yeah. stuff. Let's okay. do Can we do experience? experience? Yeah. Did someone mm -hmm. want experience? Yes, I want experience. Ah, uh, we're out of time. <laughs> Ryan, I will end the Grimes. <laughs> I'm only level two, but I'm still confident I could kill that character. <laughs> oh, wow. Ouch. Them's fighting words. <laughs> Quite literally. All right, come on, Neil. Hit us with it. Hold on, I'm adding Last week's XP2. Last week's XP2. This can't be right. That is right now. <laughs> no, well, the fast. amount was way too low. Oh, the set up right. uh, <laughs> Just for the record, do... guys, we have got enough money to get a carpenter, a kennel master, invent a sled, and get dog sleds. Ryan, how did we do experience for the druid that in Dice uh, of Death? It was... Oh, I think we did 100 times 1.5 to the N. There we go. Where N is the level of the PC or whatever. There or we the, go. Of the Holy GM shit. PC. Nice. Wait, what? Yeah. Um. So th that was for for a experience awarded for a like a some like a level PC I guess used as an NPC. So like Neil punched a level seven druid into submission. Seven was it? So we did a. One hundred times one point five to the seven. So presumably for like a for another PC, like so to take down a level five fighter, it'd be one hundred times one point five to the five or something. You're making me get my graphing calculator. So instead of being linear, it like it gets exponential, right? So I, so like a, the idea of being like a ninth level wizard is much is exponentially more difficult than a fourth mm -hmm. level wizard. Yeah. So I got like fifty XP for killing Aldric. <laughs> really? Oh, like by, by the book? Or something. I mean, to be fair, yeah. all you did was literally just send a troll up to kill him for you. I mean, that's how I solved a lot of problems. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the spoilers. Yeah, well. At this point, you deserve to be spoiled, right? It was like six months ago. Okay, there's like 40 <laughs> episodes, though. There's like a couple hundred you know, hours. Our chronology check might be something that uh, we roleplay a little bit. I don't know how... Like, I will be basically taking this coin sheet out into, like, the foyer and drawing a giant rune and meditating on it, right, for for Sitting a long butt time. butt naked on top of the coin pile. Yeah, yeah like, there, there might be some, some people that think this is very strange. Like, I don't know. I don't know if there's any reaction to that at all. Yeah, maybe we should just... Like put a hold on, or, like do like role play out all this. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. Sure, down time sure, sure. Next session. Yeah. Um, so that is combat experience for the last two weeks. Did I get all of the gnolls from last week done. I think. If we were doing like the XP per hit die as a fighter. Oh uh, yeah. Hmm. Too bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and, so that well, is combat experience. How many, how many thousands of experience for that uh, that art piece? I guess uh, let's give well, you, you experience for discovering <laughs> Bokasa's lair. Mm -hmm. um, let's and give you just quest Bokasa's experience lair. for defeating the gnolls, driving them out. Um, let's give you some role playing experience for two days. Not a lot of role playing the last two sessions. Actually, it's been kind of light. It's been fairly combat heavy. 
So I, let's there was add... some there was some good roleplay. Like we had that that bit where Greg roleplayed out like the whole archaeology check. That's and, true. Like, That's true. That was cool. Let's give some extra experience for that. Okay. Yeah, for, for the ritual that this la- yeah. you forgot to give us experience last session. Right. Yeah. I'm adding. I'm we're adding all yeah, that yeah. together. Yeah. There's the big ritual. Yeah. The assassination. Yeah. Right, I think right. there was some good roleplay. Yeah. There was good roleplay. Um, but it was more combat heavy than roleplay heavy for the last two weeks. Yeah. So we'll take this. We'll divide it amongst four people. And everybody can bring home 1,475 experience points. Plus 10% if you've got it. 1,475, you said? Yes. That's not including 10% right that now. That is not including yeah. 10%. The 1622 and a half. Sorry, it was 1,4 what? 7,5. Okay. So I think we should be at 56,35. Does that sound right? Uh, maybe you should. Yeah, and everyone. <laughs> uh, yes, you'll be at fifty six thirty five if you kept the extra half from the previous yep. time. There's a half, of course. Which I, I have. <laughs> Great. Um, which does, in fact, get me I, to level three. Yeah, I got to level Ooh, three as well. Second level nice. spell height. Nice. I won't have any yet. We'll have to learn some, but yeah. Event like if oh, we... don't you don't you get some automatically for leveling? No, I have to learn them off my body. Ah, okay. Off my body. Yeah. I don't know why I'm rubbing my chest. That's really strange. Let's, let's <laughs> not get clipped anywhere. <laughs> oh, let me do um, HP really fast. Yeah. Okay, so I gain eight. Nice. So I'm up to 26. And then also I get plus one to Thacko, and I believe I get like another weapon proficiency slot, but I need level five to get mastery, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm saving mine too. Yeah, so I'll save mine, and then I also get a non-weapon proficiency. And let me see how much herbalism costs. You hit level costs. three, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you get a weapon and non-weapon. Herbalism right. takes two slots, I believe, in our modified non-weapon proficiency system. Looking at it. Um, herbalism. Nobody, uh, Yaramir levels, right? I do level. Yeah. You want to roll us a D6 plus your con modifier for HP? Yes. Do I have a negative con modifier? I don't remember. Oh, what no, because I, I think swapped so. with Sean. Yeah, I yeah. regret that. I wish I still had the low con. Negative con. God uh, damn it. Um, so it was D6? Yes, for our fancy wizards. Two. That brings you to how much HP 12, max? 12 total. All right. That's nice. Mm. Uh, and Nick and Ryan don't level. Nope. No, can I, can I use non-weapons as weapon proficiencies? No. Not okay. as you level, only during character creation. Only the ones provided by your int during character yeah. creation. All right. Okay. Um, right. So it's two slots for herbalism. If I took herbalism and Yarmir and I worked together, would we get the three HP for healing? If you have both slots of herbalism, yes. Okay, that's what I... So I could either save it to level six, or I'm thinking, I'm kind of torn here, and I'll probably get back to you later. Either that or cooking. And I can't decide what would be more appropriate for Ferris. Because on the one hand, cooking is the dankest meme. But on the other hand, uh, herbalism... I, <laughs> he, think he is cooking is, I think cooking is really in, in care... Or like, <laughs> yeah, I think it's you should probably take pass up. Yeah, that, that's... <laughs> That, but also like, he is half elven and they are like pretty in tune with nature. So herbalism also makes sense for him, especially as like a ranger. And I'm kind of torn. So I'll, I'll have to get back but, to people on that. But the smoked meats, how, how are you ever going to invent these smoked meats? If uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I saw on the, the fro fro movement sheet that you have a ski proficiency. Is that a thing? Yes. Well, if you guys hadn't lost Nash here, he could have taught you how to use those skis and then you could have gained a skiing proficiency which, you know, with skis drastically increases your overland movement. Oh, is there any chance we could not give the axe to the quartermaster and find uh, Musa's group and give it to him? Yeah, that's what I think. That's yeah, we haven't, I think we we haven't given the axe. Over As yet. it stands, nobody has been given any materials whatsoever. Uh, okay. When the ship comes, you will have to decide if you want to send the wealth back uh, and, and as a trade or if you want to keep it with you in the fort, which would... There's like no reason to do. Cool. Yeah. Um, initial, uh, uh, you get you get uh, non-weapon proficiencies every three levels. Does that start at level four or level three? Three. Yeah, it's it's three. levels divisible by that number. Okay, great. So I've got I one. Get I get something. One non-weapon proficiency slot. Yeah. Oh, so do you want do you want to get herbalism, Yaramir, or do you want like what do you want to do here? Um, I'll have to check the the slots. 
Cool. It's two for that. That's why I'd, I'd either I don't have, to have two. I only have one. Yeah, so I'd either have to save it until level six to get herbalism, um, or I could take cooking right now. Right. But I would honestly, would have I would to honestly have to look six. at. I'd, I'm gonna have to yeah. look after this. So I'll, I'll I'll coordinate with you on this one. Okay. Sure. Yeah. So we'll, we'll Discord. I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's session. Yeah. Uh, I got new saves, but that's the only other thing. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, fighters get new saves every odd level. Yep. All right. Um, so that is it for today's episode of Frozen Frontier. I honestly thought you were all going to die during that battle. <laughs> no um, chance. Yeah, we're too uh, good for that. One oh, HP. Yeah, honestly, I mean, I Bokasa rolled too. max damage on three hits. Yeah. You know? uh, yeah. I, I mean, for people who tuned in a little bit later, it was like literally William at one HP, Ferris at three, Grimes at like eight or something. So he was more or less fine. But both the like big frontline fighters were near death. For a good chunk of the session yeah and sir yeah. slothman does bring up something uh interesting from chat is that caldonia like even if you have an herbalism proficiency you're not going to find anything in caldonia you'd have to import all of your herbs from mm -hmm. the mainland because it's too cold for anything for any medicines to grow here okay so you're saying take cooking i'm not saying take cooking i, I think you should take juggling and juggle geese but mm -hmm. that's just my personal opinion mm -hmm. um, what, um i just want to make you give you the right information to make your decisions Neil, is animal handling only good for like trained animals, or can that help you out, sort of um, Bastion style? No, yeah, that's for like handling animals that are, you know. But if I, I think if I... animal handling is mostly livestock related. It's like animal husbandry. It's like how to cal it's like calm a mm -hmm. an angry. What about, there should what be a description sledding? that goes along with these proficiencies. Yeah. You can see it in the Regal Goblins website under the toolbox, and then under rules, non weapon proficiency descriptions okay um, and that should give you all the information that you should need to know all right i need to go to bed anyway okay yeah cool yeah. Um, this one in for a landing let's do it we didn't get to chat with your characters very much but i think we're gonna do a lot of that sort of stuff next week and we will roll mm -hmm. into is this our first blizzard this is our first blizzard we had like a short three hour blizzard or something yeah, yeah but we're hitting your first while we're in the blizzard fourth. while you're in the fourth the last two days Perfect. of your resting is a, a big ass blizzard so Perfect. we'll see you guys next week for some more frozen frontier god i hope we're seeing you guys next week we'll have to check bye yeah. everybody <laughs> yeah. bye bye